Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the best New York Comic Con of all time. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mike McFly, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about, of course, New York Comic Con 2021. Yes, it is going down as probably the worst Comic Con of all time, especially because Funko dropped the ball on the way how they did their drop, basically, the stupid waiting system that they did. <laughs> I'm going to get to that. I'm going to tell you my experience. Also, ladies and gentlemen, it was not really that bad of a day for me because my Batman Day Pops came in the mail, ladies and gentlemen. So, got two Funko uh, sodas to open up, which is the Batman Beyond sodas. Hopefully, I can get a chase. Got the Batman Beyond Pop and also the Art Series Batman, which to me is pretty cool. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, you already know what time it is. Let's get straight to the video. Yo, 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 you tube. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mike McFly, and you're watching the latest video of McFly Collectibles. Welcome back to the channel, my Funko family, friends, collectors out there, YouTube family and friends. So, yes, New York Comic Con is going down, ladies and gentlemen, in history as the worst Comic Con of all time. Funko dropped the ball, like I said. Uh, wow, you know. Just, just a lot of information to get to because l literally the day of Comic-Con and the day before, we started seeing pops that were not revealed from Funko, but revealed for, I guess, people in the warehouse maybe. Just going to show you the pops that were basically leaked, you can say. Going to tell you my experience of what happened when I was trying to purchase the pop or at least trying to purchase these pops on the Funko uh, website. And also, ladies and gentlemen, going to be unboxing the uh, Batman Day Pops, which it came in the mail the same day, so it wasn't all that bad. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen. But if you're new to the channel, hello, how's it going? Hope you guys are having an amazing weekend. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell. Make sure you smash that like button down below. Leave a comment and share today's video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so once again, New York Comic Con, I'm sure you guys, because I've seen it all over Instagram, Twitter, people were pissed. Uh, my experience when it comes to New York Comic Con, I basically was able to check in. Actually, when, once it hit 12, I waited till 12. Once it hit 12, I refreshed the page. When I refreshed it, I had to go a couple of times. Like By the fourth time when I refreshed it, it took me right to shop. It says shop the collection, shop New York Comic Con 2021 collection. I was adding things to cart. Wasn't getting a lot. Was adding things to cart. And out of nowhere, when I was checking out, it kicked me out and I was on the waiting, the waiting list, basically. My wait list went from 4 minutes to 6 minutes to 13 minutes to 12 minutes. I was stuck on 12 to 11 minutes for about 20 minutes. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. By the time I hit 12.37, 12.36, I got through. And when I got through... Practically everything was sold out, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is embarrassing, honestly, for the company, Funko, to let this happen, honestly. Some people were saying, like, oh, well, you know, what, what you expected that. Yeah, we did, but at the same time, they should know better for years, you know. For me, I never had a problem when they did the shock drop when it comes to their Funko exclusives. And the shock drop, you know, some people say, oh, the bots got it. Nah, you know what? When it hits 11.30, 11.45, 12, I'm always the type to just, just refresh the Funko website, and boom, I noticed that there's something new, and I get it right away, you know what I'm saying, some people say it's hard for them to check out, whatever the case may be, I never had that problem, but when it comes to these drops, that they had, like, not even announcing, like, when they do their, these systems, and this goes for Foot Locker, Foot Action, the Nike app, you mean app, the Nike app, it always crashes, and I don't, I just don't understand that, you know, these million dollar, and when it comes to these sneaker companies, billion dollar corporations, how the hell do your, your servers cannot handle the amount of traffic, you know, you guys already know, and I'm talking to Funko, you guys already know that you're going to have a lot of people going after these pops, even if nobody wanted them, and yes, I'm going to talk to those people out there right now that said, oh, I'm passing, I'm passing on these pops, you're not fooling anyone, because if you're just passing, there won't be this much trouble or this much traffic on the website, a lot of people got some pops just to flip, straight up, Um, so ladies and gentlemen, my list that I got, I'm going to show you a picture of the list that I got, I was able to get, when I actually got through, I was able to get Rocket Raccoon, which I got two of them, I had my niece get a rock, Rocket Raccoon for me, I also got Cavity Sam, you know, but um, I also was able to get 
believe it or not, Arthur from The Sword and the Stone. I think that pop is pretty cool, honestly. But otherwise than that, that's all I got from the drop. Everything else was sold out, ladies and gentlemen. But I was able to get, when it comes to share releases, I was able to get Snake Face from GameStop. I was able to get the uh, Walmart, shared exclusive with Walmart, the uh, Boba Fett and Carnage, which I heard was the first things that sold out. And I know a lot of people that said that Carnage was whack and they ended up purchasing it. So I just feel like people are going to think that that's the 2019 Carnage, which was going for like $120 at one point. It dropped down to about 80 to 90 because... People are selling figs out there. But yes, ladies and gentlemen. So those are the only things that I got as I'm looking at the list. Obviously, I got the Motu Pop. I got the uh, Zodak and the Roboto Soda. I got those from Tokyo website, which I think at this moment as I'm doing this video, I don't think it's sold out. Not sure. I haven't checked because I checked two hours later and it was still there because people was complaining about the shipping. So I believe it was $30 for the bundle, but it was shipping for me since I live in New York City with taxes. It came out to $47. So with the tax and shipping, yeah. So $30 plus $17, but it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, a thing that I want to talk about as I'm looking through my iPad is we're going to look at these leaks of these pops that were supposedly going to come out for New York Comic Con. The first one we're going to see is Stupid Sexy Flanders. Now, this was from uh, Pop Holmes. He posted this up. And I guess this was on Macari. Now, you see the full convention sticker there. This is a cool pop. Everybody would have been going after this pop, honestly. So it was Stupid Sexy Flanders. The next one was Punchline from Batman. I see a lot of Batman fans wanting this pop. Now, I'm not sure these pops are going to be released to Target. Some are saying they're going to be the Target Entertainment Earth. Not sure about that, but most likely that's what's going to happen. But something tells me there might be a New York Comic Con release part two, probably in November or December. Also, the other leak pop, which to me was fire, and that was Superman in blue, ladies and gentlemen. This pop looks sick. Now, it would have been better if it was a glow, but this pop is fire. I'm not going to lie. This is something when I saw this leak pick, I said I got to have it whenever it's going to be shared with Target Entertainment Earth, Hot Topic, who knows. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, that pop is sick. The next one is um, obviously you have Trunks. You have, I mean Trunks, <laughs> that's from Dragon Ball Z. You have Tracks from uh, Transformers. You have John Lennon in the New York outfit. Like, and then you have Gerald uh, from um, The Witcher. Now, that looks like The Witcher from Netflix, basically, not the video game. So, ladies and gentlemen, those pops look okay. But the John Lennon, I think everybody would have went bananas for. And obviously, I'm a Transformers fan, so I wouldn't went out the tracks. But yes, yeah, so those are the pops that were leaked. I'm sure there's many more. But my personal opinion, all these pops look pretty cool. My personal opinion, and I think, I think everybody knows this, not just my opinion. Shipment was delayed because of what's going on in the world. Things are coming in late. You know, and some pops are now, like my pre-orders that were saying they were delayed, they're now being shipped out. So it's a lot of confusion going on. I can't really blame Funko when it comes to their inventory. That like when it comes to what's going on in China, other countries when they're shipping the pops to us. Me personally, I think they should have the pops made here in the US. It'd be a lot better for us and for other countries, honestly. But once again, with China going on and they're shutting down certain ports because of one COVID case, which to me is dumb, honestly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. We can't do nothing about that. About that. <laughs> but uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, so it is disappointing. But the one thing we could blame Funko on is the way how they dropped the ball on the release, the rating room. I heard people went in at 12.04 and then they, get, they had like seven minutes and it jumped up to 38 minutes. That does not make sense. If you get in the queue and it says seven minutes, it should be seven minutes, six, five, four, three, two, one. Boom. That's how it should be. They need to fix that. And someone also said that someone got through. Once it hit 12 o'clock, it was a post on Twitter. Somebody got through, and when they got through, they were able to keep purchasing and just put a different address. Something like that. So somebody out there probably has, I say, five, four or five of each figure, something like that. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this Comic-Con is going down as the worst bleeding cool on their website. They put this as the worst Funko release slash Comic-Cons of all time. And uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know. They say people are saying that Funko is losing their customers, and maybe so. You know, what I'm saying um, I won't really say they're losing because there was not a lot of stuff that people wanted. But definitely the flippers that they got through, flippers were definitely mad. I tell you that much. I was just upset because I just wanted like three or four pops, and then the sodas. But you know what? I was able to get the sodas from the shared retailers, so you know it's not all that bad. You know what I'm saying? But once again, ladies and gentlemen, Funko, yeah. You guys dropped the ball. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So now let's uh let's open up these Batman Day pops. So now it came in double box. This is the second box right here. And 
I was not able to purchase the die cast because once again, the waiting room, I was in that queue and I literally, once again, when it was released, got in there and when I got in, it went from three minutes and it jumped up to 28 minutes. Next thing you know, the die cast was gone. And I was just like, wow. Everybody saying that they didn't want the die cast got the die cast. But once again, ladies and gentlemen, they are, when you go to Funko's website, it says notify me. So I do believe that they're going to restock on that die cast Batman. I do have certain people in the community looking out for me to see if I could get the die cast at a great value because I do like the rich, I do have the Captain America die cast. So I will like the Batman die cast. But ladies and gentlemen, this is what, how it came in. This is my Batman day pickup right here. So the first one is I got the shirt, which to me, I love purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors, ladies and gentlemen. One of my favorite colors. And I got this Batman shirt and I think this is awesome. Right here. Boom. Look at that. I think I think this shirt is fire. I just I love it. I, I just love the purple. The whole it, it to me it has that Batman color to it, that vibe to it. How to get that. So now the first thing we're gonna look at is you know what? We're gonna check the sodas last. But here it is. Two Fungo soda figures. Batman Beyond. This one, 15,000 pieces. So there's that. So the first pop I'm going to take out of this is none other than Batman Beyond. Funko exclusive, ladies and gentlemen. This pop is pretty cool. I believe you can still purchase this right now on the Funko website. I love it though. I think it's awesome. I do have the Chrome Batman Beyond pop, which came with the DVD, the Blu-ray DVD. Nothing wrong on top, ladies and gentlemen. Factory code, bow, right there, stamped at the bottom. The details, ladies and gentlemen. It is none other than none other than Batman Beyond. Him, the pose is, is, is you know, it's nothing crazy. It's a regular pose. I do like the molding on it. But once again, I, I like the fact that his cape, the little cape that he has is popping out on this one, which is awesome. Uh, the other OG pops and the Chrome Batman Beyond pop doesn't have the cape. So this is pretty awesome. You know what I'm saying? Once again, uh, there's a lot of Batman Beyond fans out there. A lot of people actually want a Batman Beyond movie or spin-off, something, not a TV show, like its own film. Because Batman Beyond, in a way, was kind of still a little violent. I remember watching certain episodes where I was just like watching certain scenes and it was like at the age i was you know getting older 13 years old i'm like all right this is kind of a little dark you know what i'm saying but nonetheless ladies and gentlemen pretty cool pop a pop that i think a lot of people wanted and was able to purchase and that is fungo exclusive batman beyond okay so now ladies and gentlemen the next one is the art series now i know a lot of people which i, I know this art series is still up there it's still on the website but i just like this art series now there's a funko headquarters art series um batman that was released with this as well. But I think this is pretty cool. And it's in a stacky boy. And here it is. Gray and black art series. Batman. Number 41. Ladies and gentlemen. You already know. Got to take it out the pop protector. Smooth money. <sighs> this one looks cool. This one looks cool. I'm not going to lie. I like this one. I don't know why some people were hating on it. I mean, people are getting tired of the art series pops. I guess that's why. But there it is. And look at the back of the box. As you can see, these two at the bottom, one was uh, exclusive to Funko Headquarters and one was exclusive to Funko Hollywood. But nonetheless, though, the box is hashtag minty. Nothing wrong on top. Once again, factory code stamped at the bottom. You see the scan right there. So if you want to scan this pop and add it to your Funko list, boom, just scan it. You, even, you can even scan this on PPG. But ladies and gentlemen, the details on it, I just love the, it's the same little molding, but I love the little art to it. The little, you know, the gray, the black, this fits a Batman color to it, if you understand what I'm saying, because obviously the Dark Knight, you know, some bat, like the Dark Knight Returns in the comic book series, it was more like a gray black outfit, you know what I'm saying? So that's what this remind me of, honestly. So I like it, you know, nothing too crazy, nothing, you know, amazing. I just like it because once again, it is Batman. I think this color is cool. I think... All the, um, as I'm looking at the back of the box, I do like the uh, the Funko Headquarters one, you know, but the Funko Hollywood one is cool. So I think all the, all the art series Batmans in general are pretty cool, honestly, you know what I'm saying? Will they go up in value? Uh, maybe the OGs will, the Target exclusive one, the ones that were with Target. This one, I don't think so. It's still on the Funko website right now. So if you're not able to get this, you could get it right now, honestly. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, gray and black art series Batman. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I've been 0 for 12 when it comes to opening Funko Soda figures lately. 0 for 12 on chases. So in baseball terms, I am in a slump. Let's rip this open. Let's go. Gotta get serious. So now, 
Believe it or not, this is funny. The Funko sticker, exclusive sticker, is on the can. Great job, guys. It's on the can because you already know sometimes they put the sticker on the outside. <laughs> so let's... Dang, all right, this is kind of hard to open up now. Got it. Okay, here we go. Boom. Cover it up. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait a minute. I'm, I'm not even lying. There's no pog in here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Wow. I'm not bugging out right now. There's no pog in here. Hey, yo, what the fuck? This is crazy. Yo, okay, let's just rip this open. This is... What the hell's going on? I'm gonna rip this open. I guess my eye... Keep my eyes closed. See, we get the chase. Oh, no, just the common. Wow. I guess I'm gonna have to contact Funko. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Batman Beyond Funko Soda figure. I'm bugging out right now because there's no pog in there. It is a common, though. So it's not that serious. Maybe I could contact Funko so they could give me a replacement pog if that's, if that's even possible, ladies and gentlemen. I don't even know what's the common count on this. Not gonna lie. This is a pretty cool soda figure, though. Honestly, I like it. It looks badass, straight up, you know? But, wow. Um, I'm just... I'm like, in a way... What the hell's going on with Funko this week? <sighs> All right, so we're just gonna put this guy back. Let's just... Wow. Like, hello? All right, whatever. Let's open this one up now. This is crazy, ladies and gentlemen. Imagine this one doesn't have a pog as well. They set me up. Let's check, man. All right. All right, there's a pog in there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not looking. There's a pog in here. Hopefully, this is the chase. Let's get it. Come on, man. Nope, just the common. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, just the common. 12, 1 in 12,500. Wow, this is, you know what? Yeah, we all had a bad week. This is, this is ridiculous. I don't got a pog in that one. I don't know what is going on. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you just saw what we all went through when it comes to New York Comic Con, but now what I went through with my Batman Day pops and sodas, no pog. It is what it is, whatever. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, uh, this Batman Beyond pop is pretty awesome. This R Series pop, at least to me, in my opinion, is pretty cool. I like adding it to the other Batman R Series pops that I have in my collection. But yes, no pog in this one right here. It is what it is. I'm going to contact Funko to see if they give me a replacement pog. I doubt it. But yeah, it's, uh, it's probably, it's probably going to go down as one of the worst weeks I had. I have with Funko, honestly. Like, it's, it, this is something I'm never going to forget. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for taking time out your day to watch me, Mike McFly. Remember, New York Comic Con 2021 is the worst Comic Con of all time. You're watching the latest video, McFly Collectibles. Till then, I'm out.